Hey, we've all done this to confirm that there's spark. You've taken the spark plug, it's outside the cylinder, you ground it, and then you crank the car. Why is this an inaccurate test? We're gonna find out next. This video is sponsored by Denso, a leading iridium spark plug manufacturer for the OE and aftermarket. Visit DensoAutoParts.com for more information. Looking for spark with the spark plug outside the cylinder by grounding it out somewhere and cranking it does not give the best results. Why? Well, it's the outside air. Outside here, well, we're at 16 PSI. Inside a cylinder, when it has to fire, it may be anywhere between 250 and 500 PSI. Also in that mix are fuel and oil that can change the resistance between the two electrodes. Inside a cylinder, when you change that resistance, you're changing the amount of voltage required to make that spark, or kilovolts. So when you're outside of the cylinder, testing like that, yeah, you're testing that there is spark in the system and the coil is functioning at 16 PSI, not at the typical 250 to 500 PSI inside the cylinder. So how do you do an accurate test to see if that spark plug's functioning inside the cylinder? You're gonna to need to measure the secondary ignition waveform. So what is a secondary ignition waveform? It's a measurement of what's going on in the coil and how that translates to the electrodes of the spark plug. So this is a secondary ignition waveform. At this point, well, this is when 12 volts is applied to the primary of the coil and it starts to saturate the secondary. This huge spike, well, that's the buildup of energy in the coil to fire the spark plug. The more energy, the more difficult it is to fire the spark plug. The next part we see is the burn line. This is usually around three milliseconds, and this is when the spark is going between the two electrodes. This can tell a lot about what's going on inside the combustion chamber. If it's really hashy, or there's a lot of peaks and valleys, it's a sign that there's turbulence inside the cylinder that could be caused by carbon deposits or fuel droplets that are not properly distributed inside the cylinder. And then we see a drop off as the voltage is unable to sustain the spark. So there you have it. This is a measurement of what's going on at the spark plug at combustion pressures. And this is far more accurate than holding a spark plug to a valve cover to see a spark. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.